Welcome to the Nintendo Repair Shop's SNES controller repair video. Today we'll be showing you how to clean the button contacts on your Super Nintendo controller to resolve sticky or non-responsive buttons. With nothing more than a bottle of game cleaning rinse, a small Phillips head screwdriver, and a game cleaning cloth. Now the game cleaning rinse and the cloths are available on our website at www.nintendorepairshop.com. The first step in fixing your Super Nintendo controller is to open the case. And to do this you need to locate and remove each of the five screws on the back of your controller case. With the screws removed from the case, you can now open the back of the case and expose the Super Nintendo controller motherboard. Now the first step in getting this context clean is getting the motherboard detached from the bottom case. To do that you just remove the controller wire and then gently lift the motherboard away from the case. You can see that there are the rubber buttons below. For now we'll leave those just where they are. And here you can see the front of the exposed Super Nintendo controller motherboard. Before we get started cleaning the Super Nintendo controller contacts, it's important to understand exactly what each of the contacts is responsible for and we'll walk you through that right now. These contacts on the left are the directional pad contacts, these contacts are the select and start buttons, the A and B buttons, the X and Y buttons, and flipping it up the right and left shoulder pad buttons. Now to get started cleaning we're simply going to take one of our non-static cleaning pads, apply a small amount of cleaning rinse to the pad and gently rub the contacts to remove any dirt, grime, or oily buildup that might be getting in the way of those contacts making the right kind of electrical connection. You can see there there's quite a bit of buildup on these and that's probably why this controller was acting a little sticky. Now we'll also want to do the same thing for the buttons, so for those you can gently remove them. And be careful because these controllers are getting old enough at this point where the rubber may be close to deteriorating. If you push too hard on the rubber, you may actually cause it to break apart, in which case you'll have to buy replacement buttons. You don't want to do that. So you can continue to clean these buttons and do the same thing for the shoulder pad buttons which are located here and here. Once you've completed cleaning the button contacts and the buttons themselves it's time for reassembly and to do this you simply flip the motherboard back over, align it with the pegs and holes that are there on the case to hold it in place and then slide the wire back through and reattach the casing. And from this point you simply are going to reattach those five screws to the back of the casing to put it all back together. With those screws reattached you're all finished with your Super Nintendo controller repair and your controller should be working as good as new. Uh, keep in mind that the products that you use today, other than the Phillips head screwdriver, are available on our website. That's the game cleaning rinse and the non-static cleaning pads, which are good for a variety of Nintendo repair projects. Again, our website is www.nintendorepairshop.com, and while you're there, speaking of other Nintendo repair projects, Visit our Nintendo Repair Center uh, webpage where you can find useful videos and even static repair guides for all kinds of Nintendo repair projects. Thanks for watching our video and as always, happy gaming.